was fun to make a film during COVID because I had something to do. I enjoyed that like I had to go through some problems and I learnt a lot more about my dad. What I enjoyed most about the filmmaking was editing and filming the cutaways. Finding really cool pictures that I didn't know we had and it's like really, really interesting. But one of the really hard things was putting it all together. With the outbreak of COVID-19, we thought this would be a great opportunity to implement a program at Indigo Shire called We Know Your Name But Not Your Story to document what it's like to be in lockdown and the lives of their family members or to use this program in any way, shape or form as a creative outlet to get them through this experience. I made my film about my dad, which was like on our farm and the stories about um, how we've got like so many olive trees and like how they came there. We moved on to a farm 10 years ago which had existing olive trees on it, about 600 of them. And in the first year that we moved in, all the fruit dropped on the ground, which was a lot of fruit, so there was a lot of wasted um, product. The video that I made was about my dad when he was jackarooing when he was a bit younger and I learnt a lot about him. There were a couple of incidents that I did have jackarooing. Um, got a broken collarbone there which I was uh, knocked off my motorbike by a kangaroo while I was going about 80k an hour and fell off. The favourite things that I learnt would be how to use Kinemaster for future things and future videos. Some advice I'd give to other kids would be, it takes a bit of time and you've got to persist. Yeah, it's worth it. One of the most surprising things while making my film was how easy it was to edit your video. So like cut out bits, add in bits. One of the really hard things was making sure it actually flowed. Advice I'd probably give is stick to your own story, even if it's really hard. Um, I feel like proud of doing it and I'd like to make more films about interesting people and like their background because they're really fun to make. What has impressed me most about working with these young people is their sense of enthusiasm, their high level of resilience, their creative vision and taking this opportunity in both hands and running with it whilst none of us had any idea of what was going to happen in the future. I hope more programs like these are established in more communities 